pray with me according to your faith tradition as I pray in mine. Let us pray. Gracious God, as we gather together on this cool summer morning, we come to celebrate and congratulate the students from class 2415 Mike. Who have sacrificed, studied, remained diligent, who met the incredibly demanding requirements of A school in order to stand here today as graduates. And for this, we give you thanks. We celebrate each of you today and give you thanks for all the people that surrounded and encouraged you throughout your program, for your families, loved ones, friends, instructors, advisors, and mentors. Thank you, God, for these individuals. We ask for a special blessing to be upon them. We ask now, God, that you would grant each of these students the same perseverance and success as they move on to the next step in their journey, power school. Bless them with a little bit of relaxation this weekend as they reconnect and relax with family and friends before they begin the next step in their journey. Now, God, we ask that you would go before the remainder of this ceremony, be with our guest speakers, special guests, and these students, we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Commander Corley, chaplain, staff, family and friends, and most importantly, graduates. Welcome to the graduation of Electricians Make Class 2415 Mike. We take this time today to mark the completion of long months of hard work for these sailors as they pass their first leg on their journey to becoming nuclear operators. And we here at Nuclear Field Ace are pleased to recognize them for the efforts and achievements that they have put forth. Today's guest speakers from Princeton, Minnesota, and joined the Navy in July of 2015. After completing recruit training in Great Lakes, Illinois, he attended Nuclear Field A School and Power School in Charleston, South Carolina, and then attended prototype at the MTS 635 down the street. Upon completing training, he was stationed aboard the USS Newport News, a nuclear power fast attack submarine stationed in Groton, Connecticut, in 2017-2023. During his time on board, he supported one Central Command deployment, including the longest underway in submarine history at 137 days, two European Command deployments, six operational reactor safeguard examinations, a 12-month shipyard availability, sea trials, and a variety of testing that prepared the boat for its 12th, 13th, and 14th deployments. <coughs> After three years on board, he was made the leading petty officer of machinery division, coordinating maintenance and upkeep for mechanical systems vital to reactor safety and continuity of propulsion. After four and a half years on board, he was made an engineering department training assistant, where he assisted the engineering department mass chief in generating, administering, and evaluating the performance of a comprehensive training plan for over 50 sailors. It is my pleasure to introduce Chief Machinist Mate Nuclear Submarines Qualified, Luke Kaplan. Thank you, Petty Officer Levinson, Morning Commander Corley, Chaplain, staff, families, most importantly, graduates. Let's start off by thanking the families. So thank you to all of the families of these graduates who are in attendance, both in person and tuning into the video. These sailors have reached a milestone that has required determination and persistence, but also the support of their loved ones. You have instilled within these sailors a foundation of character and drive. They have required that guidance to get them to this point. And for that, I thank you and congratulate you as well. Today is special because it marks the first major milestone on your path through the Nuclear Navy. You've not only earned the pay increase that comes along with this accomplishment, but also the professional skills and access of being a graduate of this program allows for. You deserve all of these benefits that it comes with, but be mindful to guard the duty and responsibilities that you now have. Treat every task you have, no matter how small, with the same attention and attitude that have gotten you to this point. I ask you now for a moment of reflection on the last six months. Think of all the hard work and dedication it took you to reach this point in your career. As my old chief of the boat liked to say, it's only going to get harder from here. It's also only going to get more rewarding from here. Hard jobs are not meant to be done by easy sailors, so do not quit on me now. You've made it through the first step of your nuclear career, and you've joined the ranks of our community in rating. I charge you all with this. Carry the same determination and drive that has gotten you to this point with you wherever you go from here. There will be no easy days in this job. I can speak personally to the number of hours, days, months, and even years away from your family that you will experience in the performance of your duties. I can also speak to the immense personal reward and gratification that you will feel doing this job. Whenever times get hard, and they will get hard, trust me, I implore you to dig deep and find that internal motivation. Lead on your shipmates as they will lead on you, and get through this as the team that you are. We serve in pivotal times. Our near-peer adversaries like China and Russia are constantly pushing the boundaries of what we stand for, searching for weakness. We hold the line between right and wrong. We are the defenders of freedom and democracy. I charge you all not to waver in your determination, because that tenacity is going to be what keeps seawater outside of the boat and puts enemy ships on the bottom. 
I'll leave you with a quote, uh, quote from Lieutenant Commander Eugene Plucky, a submarine captain during the Second World War who won the Medal of Honor and four Navy crosses for his leadership and accomplishments while carrying a fight to Canada. Well, this quote describes the mentality of his submariners. It is the mentality that we should all have in the accomplishment of our duties. What wordy phrase can one give such sailors as these? Sailors who, without the information available to the commanding officer, follow unhesitatingly within the vicinity of enemy minefields, so long as there's a possibility of targets. Sailors who offer a half year's pay for the opportunity to land on Japanese territory to blow up a train with a self-trained demolition team. Sailors who flinch not when the, the pedometer takes off two fathoms below the keel. Sailors who shout that the destroyer is running away after we fight <coughs> every punch we possess and are getting our ears flattened back. Sailors who will fight to the last bullet and then start throwing empty shell casings. These are submarines. Once again, congratulations on your achievements thus far and keep that momentum and attitude as you head through the pipeline and onto the fleet. Take care of your job, take care of those around you, but most importantly, take care of yourselves. Military members, attention! Graduating students, I will now frock you to the rank of third class petty officer. To all who shall see this presence, greetings! Greetings! Know ye that by the authority vested in me and reposing special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fide fidelity, and abilities of these sailors, I do hereby appoint you to the rank of third class petty officer in the United States Navy, as such from the 21st day of June, 2024. Your appointment as a petty officer in the United States Navy makes you heir to a long and proud tradition of naval leadership. By accepting this appointment, you are charged with demonstrating those standards of performance, moral courage, and dedication to the Navy, the nation, with which you will serve as an example to your fellow Navy men and women. Your desire to excel and guide others must be boundless. Your appearance must be a model for others, and your performance must be a continual reflection of your sincerity, attention to duty, and moral responsibility. By exhibiting unfailing trust and obedience towards superiors, cooperation and loyalty to your peers, understanding and strength to your subordinates, you will contribute greatly to the effectiveness and good name of the United States Navy. Families and friends, please join me in a round of applause for the Navy's newest third class petty officers. Please be seated. <coughs> Each of these sailors has earned their new title. There are those, however, who stand out as they complete this training, as evidenced by earning the highest grade point average among their classmates. The instructors, advisors, and classmates recognize them for their achievements in the classroom, and we call these sailors our honor graduates. Today's honor graduate is electrician's mate nuclear third class, Isabella Trujillo. The Honor Graduate Award is presented by Commander Corley and Master Chief Matthew Charlton. Military personnel, attention honors. From Commanding Officer Naval Nuclear Power Training Command to Electricians Mate Nuclear Third Class Isabella Trujillo. Congratulations for achieving the highest grade point average from your class in Nuclear Affiliate School Charleston. Your standing reflects your personal motivation, academic excellence, and dedication to duty. Your outstanding performance serves as a superb example to your shipmates and is in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Signed, J.D. Anderson, Captain, United States Navy. Military, military personnel, please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce the section leading petty officer for electricians mate class 2415 Mike, electronics technician nuclear first class, submarines qualified Anthony Van Dinger. Morning. <laughs> Morning. So, in philosophy, the ship of Theseus is a thought experiment about the nature of identity. I've taken a few creative liberties, but the gist of it is as follows. Theseus was an ancient Greek hero most famous for slaying the Minotaur of the Labyrinth. Like many mythological figures, he had many adventures, from exploring new lands, sailing the Mediterranean, and battling sea monsters. Each time he sailed home to Athens, his ship would be damaged and require repair. Here a new mast, there a patch in the deck. The central question of this thought experiment is as follows. After so many years of repair, there may come a point where every original piece of the ship of Theseus has been replaced. Perhaps even, you could build an entire replica out of the removed pieces. The question is one of identity. Does the ship continue to be the same ship 
after every piece has been removed. I haven't studied philosophy in any depth, but these philosophers had asked the Navy, we could have given them the answer to this question straight away. Just like the ship of Theseus, the Navy is a constantly changing entity. With every sailor, a plank that will eventually cycle out to be replaced anew. Here at Nuclear Field A School, these students have undergone trials to rival the Minotaur, as they are being shaped to soon go out and become part of the great ship of Theseus. They have not only learned the skills and knowledge to operate in one of the most elite communities of the Navy, but also the values that have kept the identity of the Navy going for over 248 years. There are still many great trials to come. The students here before you will one day be battling sea monsters themselves. And I've seen firsthand the grit and determination that they will bring. It's with tremendous pride that I present to you class 2415 Mike. Left Electricians Bait, Nuclear, Third Class, Jocelyn and Rena Salazar. <laughs> Electricians Bait, Nuclear, Third Class, Braylon Berard. Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, Hayden Buchanan. <laughs> Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, Corey Cagle. <laughs> Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, Michael Dick. Electricians Bait, Nuclear Third Class, Asiel Juarez. <laughs> Electricians Bait, Nuclear Third Class, Alexander Locke. <laughs> Electricians Bait, Nuclear Third Class, Christian Lovett. <laughs> Electricians Bait, Nuclear Third Class, Hayden Mahoney. Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, Charles McKee. <laughs> Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, Jerrion McLean. <laughs> Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, William McDowell. Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, Damon Metcalf. <laughs> Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, Alyssa Polonsi. <laughs> Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, Jacob Rendich. <laughs> Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, Simon Rowe. Electricians Bay Nuclear, third class, Keston Sarver. <laughs> Electricians Bay Nuclear, third class, Casey Swan. <laughs> Electricians Bay Nuclear, third class, Ricardo Zavala. <laughs> the following sailors are graduating with distinction. Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, Saber Anderson. <laughs> Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, Jacob Arsena. <laughs> Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, Angel Cabezas. Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, David Shonagal. <laughs> Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, Damian Simmons. <laughs> the following sailors are graduating with honors. Electricians Bay, Nuclear, Third Class, Gavin Saylor. <laughs> 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 
Electrician's mate, nuclear, third class, Isabella Trujillo. Each of these sailors exerted a great deal of personal drive, overcame obstacles, and made individual sacrifices to make it here today. Still, there are those that, by the manner in which they have completed this training, have inspired others. What sets these sailors apart is the consistency in their efforts, their refusal to quit, and the examples that they have set. They demonstrated the qualities most treasured in the Navy, those of honor, courage, and commitment. The Naval Nuclear Power Training Command recognized the sailor from each class that displayed the highest levels of military bearing and reliability during their training with the following personal excellence award. The recipient of this award is, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Electrician's mate, nuclear third class, Charles Mackey. <laughs> Awardee, front and center. The personal license award will be presented by Commander Corley and Master Chief Matthew Charlton. Military personnel, attention honors. From Commanding Officer Daily of the Power Train Command to Electrician's mate, nuclear third class, Charles Mackey. The Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award is awarded to the student who has exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. This sailor stands apart by virtue of hard work, personal dedication, and a demonstrated desire to succeed. Your dedication to duty, exceptional academic effort, and perseverance in the face of adversity has made you an outstanding example for your shipmates to emulate. This performance is in keeping with our Navy Corps values and warrants your selection today as a recipient of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Congratulations and well done. Signed, J.D. Anderson, Captain of the United States Navy. Military members, at ease. For over 75 years, the United States Navy has operated nuclear powered aircraft carriers and submarines around the world, ensuring maritime security and deterrence. This has only been possible with the continued support of their families and friends. We ask that you continue this vital support as your sailor advances through nuclear power school and prototype. Thank you again, and we look forward to seeing everyone here in about seven months for the power school graduation. Please rise for our benediction. Please join me in prayer one last time. Gracious God, as we depart from this place here today, we want to give thanks for the amazing accomplishments of these graduates and pray for your continued success as they move to power school. Thank you again for their instructors, SLPOs, mentors, and their loved ones who have encouraged them along the way. Thank you for their dedication to these students and for the help they provide each one of them. Now bless these students for their efforts and may they know how proud we are of them. Now may the Lord bless you, keep you, May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Amen. This concludes today's graduation ceremony. Graduates, congratulations and well done. Military personnel, carry on.